Note, the following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Note, the touchscreen can be removed without first attaching the display panel assembly from the base enclosure. Removal. Remove the four rubber feet from the channels in the base enclosure. Remove the 12 5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Carefully separate the edges of the base enclosure from the top cover. Lift the front edge of the base enclosure and guide the cutouts on the base enclosure out of the external connectors. Disconnect the battery cable from its connector on the system board. Tow the cutouts on the base enclosure over the external connectors and lower the base enclosure onto the top cover. Apply pressure to the edges of the base enclosure until it snaps into place. Turn the notebook over and open the display. Place a protective barrier onto the top cover to protect the touchscreen from damage later on in this procedure. Using a case separator tool, carefully release the edges of the touchscreen from the display enclosure. Lift the touchscreen assembly off of the display enclosure and place it face down on the top cover. Caution! Take care not to scratch the touchscreen or top cover. Using minimal force, lift the locking bars up on the touchscreen board ZIF connectors and disconnect the touchscreen ribbon cables from the touchscreen board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connectors and ribbon cables. Using a flat, non-conductive tool, carefully remove the touchscreen board from the adhesive and alignment pins that secure it to the touchscreen. Peel back the retention tape that secures the display panel cable to the touchscreen board and disconnect the display panel cable from its connector. Remove the touchscreen board and place it in a static, dissipative bag. Remove the display panel cable from the routing channel on the touchscreen. Peel back the retention tape that secures the display panel cable to the touchscreen. Release the locking bar that secures the display panel cable to the touchscreen and disconnect the display panel cable from its connector. Remove the touchscreen. Replacement Place the touchscreen face down on the top cover. Caution! Take care not to scratch the touchscreen or top cover. Connect the display panel cable into its connector on the touchscreen and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Replace the retention tape that secures the display panel cable to the touchscreen. Carefully route the display panel cable through the routing channel on the touchscreen. Remove the touchscreen board from the static, dissipative bag. Connect the display panel cable into its connector on the touchscreen board and replace the retention tape. Insert the touchscreen ribbon cables into the touchscreen ZIF connectors on the touchscreen board and press the locking bars down to lock the cables into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connectors and ribbon cables. 
place the touchscreen board onto its alignment pins on the touchscreen. Gently press down on the touchscreen board to adhere it to the touchscreen. Route the display panel cable through the routing channel on the touchscreen. Lift the touchscreen and route the display panel cable through the remaining section of the routing channel on the touchscreen. Important! Ensure that the display panel cable is properly routed through the routing channel. An improperly routed cable can cause damage when the touchscreen is replaced. Place the touchscreen into position on the display enclosure. Gently apply pressure around the outside edges of the touchscreen until it snaps onto the display enclosure. Caution! Take extreme care when applying pressure to the edges of the touchscreen. The glass is thin and easily damaged. Remove the protective barrier from the top cover. Close the display panel and turn the notebook over. Carefully separate the edges of the base enclosure from the top cover. Lift the front edge of the base enclosure and guide the cutouts on the base enclosure out of the external connectors. Connect the battery cable into its connector on the system board. Tow the cutouts on the base enclosure over the external connectors and lower the base enclosure onto the top cover. Apply pressure to the edges of the base enclosure until it snaps into place. Replace the 12 5mm P1 Phillips head screws that secure the base enclosure to the top cover. Place the four rubber feet into the channels in the base enclosure.